What is up guys? My name is Ozzy and you are watching Bottled in Bond. All right guys, so welcome back to Bottled in Bond. And today we are going over one of my favorite distilleries and that being Maker's Mark. I actually got a chance to visit Maker's Mark a couple years ago. It was a uh, pretty nice distillery in my opinion. We, uh, we visited we got a quick tour, uh, did a couple samplings, and to be honest, even though I can show you all these different pictures of uh, what we experienced on the of the distillery, which is actually in Loretta, Kentucky, very nice, beautiful place. The pictures don't do it any justice, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you other pictures that I found from online that do give it more justice. Uh, this place is it's gorgeous. It's almost in the middle of nowhere, kind of like any other distillery would be and um, I mean just magnificent really clean facility great tour of uh, different buildings that they had they took us through a uh, one of the buildings where they had the um, the barrels and uh, they also took us through a newer building where they're housing one of their uh, newer products that they had at the time um, so it was kind of empty but uh, it still was being filled with barrels and uh, just gorgeous great weather so Maker's Mark is a small batch bourbon whiskey that's produced in Loretta, Kentucky by Beam Centauri. So Beam Centauri is housed in Chicago, Illinois and is actually a subsidiary of Centauri Beverage and Food, which is actually a subsidiary of Centauri Holdings based off Osaka, Japan. Pretty good knowledge. So the principal products of the Beam Centauri line actually include bourbon whiskey, scotch whiskey, Irish whiskey, Canadian whiskey, vodka, Cognac, rum, cordials, and ready to drink mixed drinks. Enough of that though. Today we're actually here to review Maker's Mark Cask Strength. And what I like about this bottle is that every specific bottle that comes out of Maker's Mark comes out with a different proof and a different ABV. Initially when uh, they began bottling this, um, this brand, they brought it out as a 375 milliliter bottle which was priced depending on where you're at um, anywhere between 35 to 40 dollars and uh, then they begin making the regular line of 750 milliliter bottles which uh, comes out to anywhere between 50 50 55 dollars depending on where you're at so one of the neat things about makers mark is that in their bottles just like george dickel and old forester brand they like to put the word whiskey W-H-I-S-K-Y. So even though this is a legit bourbon whiskey, they named it whiskey. And the reason why they do that is just for their old tradition, for their uh, family heritage of uh, Scottish Irish background. So Maker's Mark cask strength, right? Um, obviously single barrel. The cask strength, what they're talking about is this is not blended. It wasn't necessarily mixed. It is all one single flavor from one specific oak charred barrel it is cask strength it is going to come out at a higher proof so usually the proof that it comes out can be anywhere between 108 and 114 proof so each bottle is specific if you guys look at this bottle this bottle was at 109.6 proof and the abv came out to 54.8 proof so if you go out there and actually um grab this bottle from the shelf you're not going to get it at the same proof and you're not going to get it at the same ABV unless, you know, it came out of the same barrel or there was a specific barrel that it came out of that's similar to the one that this one came out of. This is actually batch number 19 tech 02. And from what I've read, it's usually around a six year or more um, distillation or aging process when these uh, bottles come out of uh, the barrel itself. So this specific bourbon that's in here serves as the base for the original product of Maker's Mark. And uh, it's also the product that is used for their 46 and also for their private select. It serves as the base of it before the uh, blending process begins. This is definitely not a beginner's bourbon. So if you are just getting into the whole bourbon, uh, tasting, drinking, getting familiarized with bourbon uh, and old whiskey. This is not necessarily something you wanna pick up. 
Uh, this is more for someone who's been drinking bourbon for a while, has a certain uh, select palate, and um, they, they're an enthusiast for the most part, or they've been drinking for a while, and they, they know what to expect out of different higher proofs and different ABVs. Usually the allowed legal limit proof uh, going in is 125 for when it uh, reaches the barrel. Uh, this one, actually what they did is they brought it down to 110 proof, and that kind of eliminated the bite just so you can actually uh, flavor, give it a more mellow, good flavor, and then you can taste um, the wood, the cast, the charness of it as well. This is a high proof barrel strength bourbon whiskey. It is at 70% corn, 16% wheat, and 14% malted barley. Distillers.com rated this bottle at a 90. And uh, the reviews that they had from different users, which was in the 900s uh, reviews, is actually at 3.93 so I'm pretty surprised to know that this bottle is almost at a 4 out of 5 stars from different reviewers but distillers.com rated it at a 90 so let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what we think one of the things we noticed when we were back at the distillery is that they hand seal all of their products when it comes out and it's already bottled and the top is on there what they do is they'll pick it up and they'll actually dip it in themselves by hand you got different people that are uh, putting the wax on the top of the bottle as it drips down and they're all handmade so it's, it's pretty neat knowing that you know there's actually people doing that as opposed to a machine coming in and doing it themselves okay so we're gonna go ahead and open up this bottle and see what it's like there's also a tab right here for you to easily peel off almost similar to previous bottles that you might have had the wax itself that they use is very sticky but it's still not something that will drain you when opening it. Sweet smell, almost vanilla, little caramel. Alright. Oh yeah, definitely very nutty too. The cask strength that they speak about, it's the it's it's not overwhelming, it smells really good and the first hints you pick up is some vanilla some cin cinnamon and you definitely pick up a lot of the charred aromas the barrel itself the woodiness to it and maybe even just a little spice some cherry as well on the uh the back end of it definitely spicy it, it almost feels like the, the, the spiciness and the cinnamon is, is predominant in the flavor itself. It's very smooth. You can tell that this was definitely aged in charred cask. It's, it's very strong in the tasting, but I do taste a lot of the cinnamon. The vanilla is very faint. So when it comes to the tasting and the sniffing, not everybody's gonna get the same thing. Uh, I'm, I may pick up vanilla, cinnamon. I may pick up a lot of oak and uh, a woody strong woody flavor uh, very smooth and another person reviewing it based on their palate their history their experience they might pick up chocolate they might pick up uh, cherries uh, they might not even pick up vanilla at all they might pick up uh, a lot of nuttiness some almond um, there's there's multiple different flavors that you're gonna pick up whenever you taste a bourbon or whiskey or anything and everybody's palate is not going to be the same so go ahead and uh give it your own review and let me know in the comments what you thought i think this is delicious it's very smooth you could tell the cask strength is there and they took their time aging this in the process in a sniff rating when it comes to this uh cask strength from acres mark i would definitely give this an 8.5 out of 10 on the taste itself, I would definitely give this a good 8.5 out of 10. And on the uh, finish itself, just how smooth it is as it goes back, it almost intensifies. It starts smooth and it intensifies, but then on the finish itself, it just cools off and you still get a lot of those nuttiness, vanilla flavors in there. So I definitely recommend this on the finish. Uh, I would probably give this a good 8 out of 10. Now, considering the price itself, I paid about $50 for this bottle. Considering the flavor, the proof, and the ABV, I would definitely give this a 92. It is a great bottle, great bourbon, 
and even though they spell it whiskey right it's still a bourbon whiskey keeping that in mind i'm gonna go ahead and open up the flavors just a bit just to see what we're looking at as far as difference uh, in its flavor maybe it'll make it a little bit smooth maybe not but we'll see definitely a lot sweeter it has it, it opens up a lot of the spiciness so on the first time when I took the sip it's more warm and spicy and the vanilla was there a lot of the oak the oak has almost dissipated the vanilla has almost dissipated and now it's it's almost peppery the water opened up the flavors and the spiciness peppery to it was very predominant in the beginning towards the finish there's almost nothing there uh, not saying it's almost as if you drank water but similar to it you can still taste it on, on the palate itself it remains on there with the spiciness and the uh, pepper like flavors but there's nothing on the finish on your throat so it's pretty smooth so once again to wrap it up a definite 92 for makers mark cask strength rated at three dollar signs this one specifically being fifty dollars uh, the 109 proof and ABV was spot on. Uh, I can't really say that it's a strong bourbon, but it is definitely smooth, very peppery, very spicy, and the notes were just delicious. Definitely recommend this bottle, especially for its price. Please, by all means, do not make it a mixed drink. Keep it nice and neat. Keep it on the back end of your uh, whiskey shelves, your liquor shelves, and uh, give it a tasting every time you got company over and you know just have a special occasion to celebrate. If you rated this bottle at something higher or lower than 92, go ahead and let me know. Put it in the comments below. Don't forget to tell your friends about Bottled and Bond. Like if you thought this video was very informative. And uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. And check me out next time on Bottled and Bond. Cheers, everyone. <music>